Hello friends, welcome to yet another video of Hindu Jadaik. We will talk about New Age Fighter Sized Stealth Aerial Target Drone. The US shows the way. A small California based aviation firm has announced that it recently completed engine and flight control testing on the ground on a stealthy unmanned aircraft known as the 5th Generation Aerial Target or 5GAT. The firm says that this design, which it originally developed as a stealth aerial target, could also serve in the loyal wingman role with manned combat jets and perform other operational missions. Sierra Technical Services had completed its first prototype 5 jet and had finished the various testing on Jan 13, 2020. The company says it hopes to fly the drone for the first time by the end of March. 2020. We ran both engines all the way to power at the same time, Roger Hess, Sierra Technical Services President told. We tested out our flight controls, elements and rudders and everything working well. Sierra Technical Services has not yet provided the exact physical specifications for the 5G jet, but has said in the past that it is dimensionally similar to a T-38 Talon jet trainer. A presentation from 2012 says the drone is only about 20 pounds heavier than the empty weight of a T-38 as well. The 5 jet is also powered by a pair of General Electric J85 engines that actually came straight from a T-38 II. Additionally, components came from F5 and F818 jets helping in keeping costs low. Sierra Technical Services has not given a hard figure but says that unit price for the drones will be under $10 million. Still, despite this use of parts from other aircraft, the Fi Jet's overall platform is considerably different from any of those designs, especially its rear position diamond shaped wings and intakes, which loosely resemble those of the F 22 Raptor. The drone uses honeycomb composite structures in the construction as well as snaking intakes that hide the fan faces of the J85 engines, both features common to modern tech stealthy aircraft. Sierra Technical Services also has not provided many specifics about the drone's performance, including its top speed. The company says that the two J85s allow it to fly at high subsonic speeds and could potentially enable it to break the sound barrier. It would probably go supersonic without much trouble, but none of the structure was analyzed or designed for supersonic nor were the inlet lips. Hayes, the firm's president, explained. Hayes also said that FireJet was capable of performing maneuvers up to 7.5G and minus 2G, but only for short periods. It cannot sustain plus 7.5G or negative 2G. The aircraft will bleed off energy very quickly due to limitation of thrust from these engines. He said, we can make 7.5G turns but not sustain them for very long. That is basically a typical operational scenario. All of these features and capabilities are in service of the mission that FireJet was originally intended for, which is acting as a surrogate for new and emerging stealth fighters and other advanced combat jets and even drones that US military fighter pilots are increasingly likely to encounter in any future large-scale conflict. The drone itself has been in development since at least 2006 when the US Air Force first funded a design study for a low-cost stealthy target drone to better reflect advanced opposing aircraft. An interesting team which included former employees of Lockheed Martin's Advanced Design Bureau and students from the Air Force Academy crafted the original conceptual design. The Pentagon's Office of the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation or DOT and E subsequently took charge of the program. In March 2017, in cooperation with the US Army Corps of Engineers, it finally awarded Sierra Technical Services a contract to build an actual prototype. Almost exactly two years later, DOTE and USACE exercised an option in that contract and agreed to buy a second FiJet prototype. Now, Sierra Technical Services says it is also hoping to expand its plan for FiJet 
to using the drone as a low cost loyal wingman which would work in groups with pan aircraft and potentially in other operational roles such as intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance jet does not have space for an internal weapons bay in its present configuration but it can carry stores on pylons under the wings though doing so would impact its stealthy signature the ability to carry internal electronic warfare and expendable countermeasures payload as well as other electronic system does appear to be part of the design we can carry all kinds of equipments electronics artificial intelligence gear etc he said the mention of artificial intelligence gear is particularly notable given the air force plan to develop an ai driven flight control system called skybog that could be used on various unmanned aircraft as well as potentially turn manned designs into pilot optional ones he is also made clear that his company which actually helped the design of the XQ58A is interested in competing against the drone for other air force projects including the service experimental loyal wingman efforts having a stealthy more maneuverable loyal wingman option would be somewhat logical for certain applications just emulating a fifth generation enemy target alone would be a huge help as the need for stealthy adversary assets is growing fast while F35s and even F117s at least to some degree can stand in for this role they will always be limited when it comes to volume still the cruise missiles are a major threat as well not just fighters and attack aircraft five jet should be well suited for representing that threat in an economic and reusable fashion with this in mind being able to mix in swarms of five jets with manned adversaries would be extremely beneficial and more cost effective than the all man alternative in other words such a capability would allow for the presentation of highly complex and challenging threat scenario for fifth generation fighter pilots and ground and sea based air defenses without the huge cost of actually putting large numbers of fifth generation adversaries in the air maybe even more important is that five jet could also stand in as a standalone enemy unmanned combat air vehicle swarm that is networked together to achieve its maximum potential five jet represents a critical capability that the pentagon really does need it can grow in many directions within its intended target role but it could also evolve outside of it in the future new variants could bring weapons capability and even higher performance down the line so it really is best to see the five jet effort as somewhat related to the valkyrie but more complementary than competitive to it just doing what it was originally designed to would be a huge help as it is friends hope you like this video please subscribe us for more such videos thank you